Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a continuation of the Paw Ply Advent Yarn Box. And I'm really excited because I have been working really hard uh, at producing something with the yarn, and I'm really enjoying working with it. The colors are gorgeous, it's soft, it's lovely, it's fun. I think you guys are gonna like what I've been working on. So let me show you right off the bat. And now I haven't used all of the the six mini hanks yet. No, I, I haven't finished them yet, but I have made considerable progress. And this is what I have so far. Check this out. Da -da -da! <laughs> yes, of course, it's still on my needles and I am delighted. I had started it and then I thought maybe I could go a little bit wider. In fact, hindsight is 2020. I think I could have gone even farther still uh, as far as the, the width is concerned, but I am really liking how this is turning out. And as far as the order of the colors, I'm going in order of the day. That's, that's the order. So what I did was I started with days one and two, and I went back and forth with row with color one, and then back and forth with color two, and then two rows with one, two rows with two. And then I dropped the day one, and then I started working with days two and three for a while, and then days three and four, and then four and five, and five and six. And day six is that orange color, which I have right here. I have both of the both of the balls on my cable here for safekeeping and also a little stitch stopper. And so I could not wait to see what days seven through 12 are going to be for us. And I, I just, I'm really, really, really happy. And so this is the, the back side, which actually I think is even more lovely. I did sew in my ends. I just have to trim off the little bits on the end there, but it's really, really quite nice. I'm, I'm rather enjoying this. Um, <clears throat> and what I'll do is in the description box down below, I'll put a link to that particular stitch. It's the garter stitch chevron. And then as far as changing the colors and so forth, um, I had a video that I did on working with Noro yarn to give you an idea. That being said, Let's see about the advent today. All right, so day seven. I'm excited. I, I actually, I really like going with the order of the days because that way I don't have to think about it. Ooh. It, it looks a lot paler in person. I mean, that this is vibrant. I want to say, I'm, I'm going to like guess perhaps what the, the name is. Um, let me see. Um, I'm thinking maybe um, North, Northern Star, maybe, you know, like a bright yellow. Ooh. <laughs> Guiding Star. Okay, can't make that up. Um, yeah, this is really, really bright. Gorgeous, but bright. It's like a very distinct canary. Okay, so that is day seven. Now, I want to guess the names and see if uh, if I'm on par. Oh, so of course, the, the link to uh, Daniel's website and channel will be in the description box down below as well. Okay, so day eight. Ah, let's see. I'm thinking something like sort of like midnight or um, uh, something to do with the time of day. You know, either that or something to do with ice, you know, like a, a glacier or an iceberg or something like that. Um, like, you know, midnight ice. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> 
I see, see. I'm sorry. This is just, this is really funny. This is funny. I like this. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of almost like a two for two right off the bat. All right. Day number nine. Let's see. Ooh, lovely, lovely charcoal with a like a hint of a uh, an ombre there. Charcoal, you know that that's what I'm thinking. Either either like charcoal or maybe um, snowman buttons or something like that. Let's see. Okay, Christmas night. You know. I can't get them all right. All right, so then day 10. I'm, I, I love this. This is so much fun for me. You know, and if Daniel is doing these again next year, I very well may do this again because I'm having a lot of fun with this. Ooh, this is sort of melony you know, sort of like pumpkins and melons and that sort of thing. But I would think that would be more of like, um, you know, I, I think maybe like cornucopias or something like that. But that's more of like a Thanksgiving thing. So, hmm. That's a good question. I mean, this reads more of like spring or fall. I don't know. I'm I'm stumped. Let's see. What it what does it say? Okay. Caribbean Christmas. Okay. Okay. So sort of like a destination vacation. All right. Two more to go. Okay. Number eleven. This is some serious blue. Um, what, would, what would I call this? This is a good question. Um, I mean, it's a gorgeous blue. You know, I mean, it's got, it's not completely solid, solid. There's a slight hue change within it. Good question. Um, you know what? Let me just look. Snowflake. There you go. I mean, personally, if there was more white in it, I would I would think, okay, snowy, you know, or whatnot. This one, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the blue, but when I think snowflake, I think I think white and blue. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, we've got one more. And then we have some happy mail. <laughs> Survey says, ooh, I really like this one. This is gorgeous. Love, 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 love. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me just look. Where's the, where is it? I don't have no card. No, nope. there's no card. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Okay. How about this? I love it. <laughs> it doesn't need to have one, but no, it's it's gorgeous, sort of a lilac, you know, purpley ombre, if you will. I really like this. I can't seem to find the the little note card. Hmm. Yeah, that's snowflake. Okay, I feel silly. No, it's okay. You know, I, I, I will survive. Oh, well, it's fine. All right, well, so that's 7 through 12. And then to 
hold them up so that you can see them in their glory. So we have a lot more blues and yellows going on here. So that is the way that the scarf is going to do its thing. And I cannot wait to get started working with these. Yes. And so let's open some happy mail, shall we? Oh, you know, and for the, um, for the, the next advent, I will try to get up as far along as I can with these new colors and we will go from there. All right. Um, one last thing. Um, as I said before, I haven't used up all of the, um, the skeins, the mini skeins, uh, that I have started in on. I still have quite a bit, quite frankly. Um, like for instance, this was the first one. I still have quite a bit. And then let's see, this one was the second one. And then this was the third, and then this is the fourth, and then five and six are still on my needles. So I still have a substantial amount left. It doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, it is a, a thin weight of yarn. So I don't know, maybe, maybe I can even get two projects done out of all of these mini skeins. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm playing it by ear at any rate. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this, in case you couldn't tell. So let's check out some happy mail. Okay, so I've got a couple of cards and I got a couple of boxes. And I am excited because whenever it says open on air, it's one of two things. Something really good or a bomb. We'll find out. <laughs> so the first one is from Pennsylvania. And I hope there's not a lot of glitter. I mean, I love cards regardless. I just, oh, I, I'm seeing the glitter already. It's okay. I'm just, I'm a bit of a fuss budget. Don't mind me. All right, here we go. Oh, there we are. Merry Christmas. It's all shimmy, sh shimmery, shiny. It stems back from being traumatized working in Michael's during Christmas time, and I was I would just come home covered in glitter every night. I would I would like shed a shimmering snail trail of glitter wherever I went. Meaningful, memorable, merry and bright, wishing you a Christmas season that's everything you could hope for and more. Oh, it's from Doris and Jim. Thank you very very much. That's sweet. Thank you. Now, I would even have glitter in my beard. <laughs> Couldn't get rid of that, no matter what. Um, now, this next one is from Ontario. And then we got some packages. <laughs> I always feel like a kid on Christmas with you guys. You guys spoil me rotten, and I appreciate it endlessly. Because I've said it before, I'll say it again. I expect nothing, but I appreciate everything because you guys are the best. All right, let's see. <clears throat> oh, it looks sort of like uh, the Polar Express, if you will. Oh, it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Craig. May your holiday season be filled with joy and peace. All the best for 2023. Absolutely love your channel. Merry Christmas, Elaine from Ontario. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. All right, so now, now we got ourselves some packages. So only thing to do is do it. Let's see what's inside. All right, so now this first one is from Sherry in Ohio. I hope I hope I I hope I'm pronouncing it right because it's either, you know, uh Sherry or Cherie. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing cuz you know that I never mean to do that. So, let's take a look see. Regardless, Ohio. That I know. <laughs> and thank you all right and then one more cut should do it 
careful. There we go. And uh, my friend Russ from uh, It's Raining Yarn, he's already threatened me to send me like a really big Christmas package. So we'll 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 find out about that soon enough. Um, <laughs> oh wow! Oh, I I see some yarny goodness already, but gotta read this first. So let's see. Dear Fiber Spider, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. P.S. You can open the package on the air. Um, Cherie from Ohio. Well, I kind of got the idea <laughs> that I could open it on camera. <laughs> you know, well, the thing is, is that sometimes I don't know that I'm not supposed to open it on camera until after I've opened it, and then I edit that out of the videos. It has happened, but... Good to know. Thank you. All right. And then got an envelope inside as well. Let's see. Oh, come on. Oop. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm trying to get there. Bear with me. There we go. Oh, wow. I love it. <laughs> it's a rather dapper duck. That is really cool. I love it. Yeah, actually, way back in high school, my nickname was Ducky. Uh, dear Fiber Spider, this card was made especially for you. I hope you like this and the rest of the package. Thanks for all your knitting and crocheting videos. I can knit better than crocheting, but thanks to you, my crocheting is better than before. Um, uh, I was just... Uh, I was just a beginner at it. Uh, I can follow a pattern in knitting, but not crocheting. Thanks again. A friend always, Cherie from Ohio. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. I, back in the day, my nickname was Ducky, as in pretty and pink. And uh, it stuck with me for many, many years. Like, you know, 10 some odd years. And I don't know if this would be more of a duck or more of a goose, but I love him. He's he's so dapper, a little bow tie, and a cane. They're very cute. Thank you. Um, let me just make sure. Okay, that's empty. Good. All right. On to the yarn. Very exciting. Good drawing. I, I've tried drawing and painting, but seriously, I'm better with fiber arts. Ooh, I don't think that I've used this before. This is uh, Nubu, Nubu, and it looks like N-U-B-O-O. -O. Uh, and this is a, a Lion Brand yarn, Sustainable Stitching, 100% Lyocell. The eco-friendly production of Lyocell, a fabric made from plants, leads the fiber industry in terms of energy and water conservation. Cool. Uh, so it's 100% Lyocell. 157 yards. It's a weight of four. It seems a little bit thinner than a weight of four, but this is so soft. Holy Toledo's. Oh, very soft. And I love the color mocha. <laughs> and there's a ton in here. My goodness. I will definitely be able to make use of it because I've got two, three, Four, five, six. Oh, this is different. Seven. Oh, do we got a different color? No, it's the same color. I think maybe it was a, a different dye lot, maybe. Hang on. Or there are two different ones. Oh, one's truffle. Oh, see? My bad. So I got truffle and mocha. 
very cool. I can make use. Now, I think, is that all of those? Yes, okay. So I've got a whole bunch of these. And actually, let's see, it looks like I've got three of one, three of the other, which is really cool because then I could do some sort of stripey action like I did on my scarf there, or maybe something different altogether. I don't know yet. We'll find out. All right, then, pop them over there. We have some more yarn and snacks. I love snacks. Wild Jungle Animal Crackers. I don't know what it is. I do love animal crackers. I, I love I love little cookies and things. You know, I'm like a big kid. I can't help it. Hmm. Um, and then we have, this is Craft Smart Craft Yarn. And there's a whole bunch in here. Now this is, do do do, coffee. I love the theme going on here. We've got truffle, we've got mocha, we've got coffee. You, you know my colorway. So this is another coffee. Yes, we have more coffee. And we got another, and another, and another, <laughs> and another. And two more. <laughs> then we have another colorway. This one is espresso. You're just hitting on all cylinders, aren't you? And so I've got two. Oh, is this a, yeah, that's another coffee. Okay, so then I've got, oh, and another coffee. My goodness. And then I've got a whole bunch of these espresso ones. Very, very cool. I can definitely do something with these. Thank you so very, very, very much. And that's not all, folks. There's another thing in here. Hmm, I don't know. Let's see what that is. Let me just scooch some stuff over to the side. I'll be right back. Let's see what's inside of here. I have not a clue. It's pretty light, but it's very well wrapped. So I hope if it's fragile that it survived okay. I'm getting there. Oh, I, I got there. <laughs> There we go. Oh, almost. Ta-da! Success. Okay, now. You really cocooned to this, didn't you? <laughs> didn't want me to get in here, did you? Ah, ooh, I think I... Even these are taped down. You're just messing with me. There we go. I think, I think I'm finally in. I love him. He's got little dimples and everything. I love him. Oh, he's so cute. He's got his little carrot. It's 
it's so cute. This is really well made. I know how hard it is to crochet, sorry, how to knit stuffed animals. Personally, I find it's a lot easier to crochet stuffed animals. Uh, knitting them in a small circumference, I know is difficult. This is really nice. I love this. He's so adorable. Oh, thank you. I have to think of a name for him. This is really great. Thank you. <laughs> I love bunnies. I do. I definitely have a penchant for rabbits. Um, I don't know what it is. Um, rabbits, bears, foxes, you know, woodland creatures. But I, I, I do love bunnies. Thank you so much. He's adorable. I just, I have to think of a name for him. I have no idea. If you have any suggestions in the comments section down below, yeah, in the comments section, let me know if you have any suggestions for a name for this guy. He's just, he's so cute. I love him. Thank you. So very sweet. Oh. <laughs> he's just so, you know what? He's going to keep me company. He's going to keep me company right, right up here. so cute. I love it. Thank you so much. All right. So, <sighs> all right. <laughs> it's just his expression. <laughs> all right. So Sheree, thank you so very, very much. Sherry, Sheree, I, tomato, tomato, I'm sorry. Until I know I'm going to keep messing it up. I'm sorry. All right. At any rate, Thank you so much for the yarn and my little, my new little friend and everything like that. Ah, thank you. All right, so I've got one more package. Let's see what's inside there, shall we? <laughs> okay, so I've got one more package to open up today. And this is from... Dolores in Pennsylvania. Well, Dolores, thank you very, very much in advance. This is a hefty box. Let's see. See, now I can see why you wrapped up that bunny as much as you did. You didn't want him escaping, you know. It's just so cute. Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. 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 <clears throat> Craig, just a little bit of yarn that maybe you can do something with or donate. Happy holidays, Dolores. You can open on camera. Good to know. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious me. Yes, there is a lot of yarn. Wait, you said... A little bit of yarn. You lied. There's a lot of yarn here. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. All right. Well, best thing to do is let's get started. All right. We've got Textures by Lion Brand. And this is called Mountain Dawn. And it looks sort of like a boucle, if you will. It looks very textured you know, quite frankly. And I've got three skeins. It is lovely. Now, let me see here. It is 90% acrylic, 10% nylon, um, and it is 149 yards. Looks really, really gorgeous. Sort of uh, blues and purples. Lovely. And then we have a scarfie, a skein of scarfie. I have worked with this before. Nice, slow, tweedy gradient going on. It's really lovely stuff. This is also Lion Brand. Um, it's a cream taupe and 70% acrylic, 22% wool, and about 312 yards. Very nice stuff. Then, 
This is Schockenmeyer original. It's called Lova. I've never heard of this one before. It looks sort of like a chain ply yarn, if you will. And it's uh, made in Italy, which is funny because it, it sounds German, Schockenmeyer. It sounds German, could be a German manufacturer. Um, let me see here. I mean, it does say made in Italy. Now it is 67% acrylic, 30% wool, and 3% polyamide. Hmm. And then, oh, I got a lot of this. This is also a Schockenmeyer uh, original called Lumio. Ooh, it's got little... Looks like it got little, no, not fuzzies, but something's twisted in it. I'm very curious. Hang on. It's got something going on inside. Sort of the twist of the yarn or something. Look at that. That's interesting. Because at first I thought it might have been like, um like a, 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 not tinsel, tensile, um, where it's sort of like, uh, like a, a metallic, but not quite metallic, if that makes any sense. Um, but that's neat. It's like a little bit of an accent to it. Hmm. Now this one is made in Turkey. Schockenmeyer. Oh, it reflects light in the dark. Now I get it. That's very clever. Very, very, very clever. Good to know. Huh. Now, let me see here. It is 93% acrylic and 7% other fibers, which is what reflects in the dark. That's really cool. It's not that it glows in the dark. It reflects light, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it reflects light. That's really cool. I like that. Safety first. Then I have a single skein of Classic Shades Big Time, which is really pretty. It looks very tropical. And then, oh my goodness. Oh, it's the same, same one? No, I think this looks different. Is it the same? Let's see. Colorway of Botanica. No, it is the same. Okay, so let me open this Ziploc because this one is sealed. So let's just open this. This is really gorgeous. Makes me think of uh, sort of like a, a greenhouse with orchids, if you will really really pretty it has a slight halo to it it's very squishy very soft and so let's see this is turkey 70 percent acrylic 30 percent wool and this is probably a weight of i want to say five or six um not seeing a weight ah super bulky yeah so that would be like I think a, a six, because I think five is bulky. Super bulky would be the six, I think. Um, and it is... Did I say the yardage? 70 acrylic, 30 wool, and it is 85 yards. It's gorgeous, though. Love. And then, last but certainly not least... This is Candy Shop by Premier. Really pretty. At first I thought it was just a tweed. No, it's got some variations in the tweed. That's really pretty. Uh, do I have a colorway? Neko wafer. Yes, Neko wafers. It's weird. It's, it's like Neko wafers, some of the flavors are god awful, yet you still want to keep eating them anyway. Um, I used to eat them all the time when I was younger. 
um, but I love the colors and it's got a really nice sort of tweed going on to it. I like this and I've got three of them. You went really well with the yardage. Very, very much so. Thank you very, very much. Dolores, you done outdid yourself. Thank you. <laughs> and I really appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys. You guys are fabulous. Wow. My goodness. Thank you so very much. Alrighty, so that is going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for joining and watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I can't wait to get started working with not only the yarns that I got in the Happy Mail, but also continuing on with my scarf project. I'm having a lot of fun with that. And that being said, if any of you know the name of this colorway, let me know in the comments section. Um, I don't want to watch the other advent calendar videos because I don't want to spoil any more than I already know. <laughs> so that being said, thank you so very, very much to all of you. I hope you're having a great holiday season and staying inspired, stay caffeinated, staying safe, taking care of each other and yourselves and just having a really great time of year. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.